Hey, what's going on guys? Clutch here. Welcome back into the Edgewater Saskatchewan cattle farm we've been working on. Once again, huge shout out to So Sasquatting for sending me a preview copy as we test out this fantastic map. Guys, today we're, well, we gotta feed these cows some more. Because I got 15 cows. 15? And I'm, I'm struggling to keep them fed right now. It's not good. So first things first, we'll take the Heston into the field. We got a grass field, or hay field, I should say, over there. We'll uh, hay that field, bale it up, bring our bales back over. And then secondly, we need to start, well, throwing some herbicide down on some of our crops here and figure out, well, which crop is going to be uh, yielding the best out here on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We've got some interesting crops out here. You got your peas. We've got lentils over here with lots of weeds. And then there's, look at the flax. Guys, look at all the flax out here. We got flax. I learned the flax of life from watching the flax of life. Oh, God. I don't know what we do with flax, but we've got lots of flax. I mean, we've also got some wheat and barley. We could take that down potentially. It doesn't matter. We need to get the herbicide down on all our fields. But first off, I need to get those cows fed. So let's jump in the Heston and head into the field. Thanks again for joining me, folks. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as we are out here working on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Once again, uh, no release date currently on the map. It's being still tested by Giants. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes through soon and uh, it'll be all in your hands before you know it. It could be, you know what, by the time this video is released, you never know. It could be released by then. I don't know yet. We'll, I'll let you know when I find out, I guess. So for now, I'm going to keep on testing it for you guys and making sure it's all good to go. Uh, make sure we test everything we possibly can, I guess. And uh, run it through its trials as we out here, out here doing some haying. Man, I, I do love me some haying. Now, I have run into a problem, like I said, guys. This here field is the only grass field I have. So it, it's not really enough to feed our cows. Like, it's barely enough. It's, it's painfully barely enough. Like, I'd love to even get some silage going on, but I, that's not even an option right now. I hay this field, I throw them hay, and that's it. So it's, it's like bare bones. We're barely, we're barely making ends meet right now. I, I don't have any corn planted right now. Man, I'd love to have that, that new DLC coming soon that uh, might allow us to, to chaff that corn, bale that corn. That might be nice. In fact, if you guys haven't already got the year two seasons pass, check the links down in the description. You can get a bit of a discount if you get the year two seasons pass. Plan on getting all the DLCs anyways. Check out that link down the bottom there. You get it directly from Giants, and uh, you might save a little bit, of, uh, just a few bucks. Save a few bucks while you're at it. What's it called again? The Guel? Guel pack? Guel? I can't, I'm not going to be able to say it. But being able to put corn into silage bales would be kind of sweet right about now. Uh, just to help get some uh, get some of that TMR going on, because right now it's looking like it's going to have to be some grass, and I don't know where I'm going to get it from yet. By the way, how was my pronunciation? Was I close? Pretty sure that's not it. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Probably not so much. You know, the Heston's great. It even conditions the grass for us so we can uh, we can get hay instead of grass right off the bat. But, guys, I need to, uh, I need to win. I need to rake this up. We need to put this into some wind rows because um, it's just, I, it's going to be a pain with the baler otherwise. So I'll go grab the old rake and we'll uh, we'll clean this up right away. You think the 8410's kind of overkill for the uh, the rake, guys? Maybe just a little bit. Just, just a touch, maybe? Yeah, just a touch. Oh, uh, whatever. You know what? I've got. I'm out here on my own today. I don't really feel like grabbing uh, the what is it? The 8410 out of the out of the back. It, it's okay. It's all right. It's it's fine. It it's just uh, it's a bit much, just to say the least. All right, let's uh, unfold the old rake, and um, yeah, we'll just put this into some rows quickly, and then we can bail it up, get her done. Because I want to get into the fields, go check out these new crops, and uh, see how the spraying's looking because. Really, I'm curious to see what kind of uh, what kind of crops are going to be the best yield going forward. I mean, I haven't decided which ones we're going to do permanently out here in Saskatchewan. There's a lot of options, of course, and, and not to mention the fact that uh, and that we can swath so many other crops now too and get better better yields off them. That's something else we're going to have to consider, right? So. Going forward, we got a lot of things to look at here, and today is just kind of the start of it all. But that all being said, my number one concern really should be the cattle and making sure I get every ounce of hay off of this field that I possibly can to make sure we can keep them fed really should be priority one, right? So that's where we're at right now. Uh, let me finish this off. We finish putting these into the rows. We'll grab the baler. Perfect. And I think we're going to go with the baler. Unfortunately, the baler is full of straw. Nothing I can do about that. We're just going to have to knock the first one out. It's okay. It is what it is. Nothing we can do about there. We bailed a bunch of straw with this. And um, I'm just going to have to suck it up and take one bale of straw. The rest will be um, will be the hay, of course, which is what I'm really looking forward to getting. Because that's really what I need for my cows. Wait wait a minute. Huh? 
Does it usually change? Just, just, does it change right away? I thought if you had over 25%, it wouldn't change. I'm... <laughs> well, whatever. That's a that's a good bail, bail of straw, if you ask me. That caught me off guard, guys. Um, not going to complain. We got one bale of, we got one bale of, grab, of hay already. Um, huh. I had 88... I'm confused. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. It's all good. We got her down at least. And, uh, of course, we were doing lots of bailing here, guys. And, you know what? Knocking down... Uh, of canola as well swath and canola which is something very cool if you guys missed the video on that check the card in the right hand corner where we were out swathing a whole field of canola down with the heston and then picking it back up with our cloth harvester something i've never done before very cool to see that done and uh hopefully that's all kosher going forward on this map it's going to be interesting to see what else we can do with that but wheat barley oats can also be swathed down and then picked up with a special header so really kind of curious to see how that is go check the card out if you haven't checked that video already, Let's see if we get our usual five or six bales off this. We're already at what four, so it looks pretty good actually. I think we might do a little bit better. We've actually been managing this field a little bit better. I think we might get our seven maybe even now. That's that's okay. That should get us uh, close to winter at least then. And that there should about do it. I think we got like nine bales almost off that. Hang on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there eight? Seven. I think it's seven. Seven bales. Heck yeah. All that's left is to go pick those bales up. Guys, you might remember we had an old bale trailer, an old Anderson bale trailer, an auto load trailer. Pick up bales. Unfortunately, they wouldn't fit the big bales that um, that John Deere round baler creates, the 240 cent centimeters. And so we've been using, well, this little pickup device as well as the front forks, of course, to, to pick up those bales. Yeah, it was just not working so well. So we've got a smaller bale trailer here. It's nothing special. It It's pretty much, a, well, an I-beam with some rods welded to the side. That's pretty much it, but whatever. It allows us to move our bales back and forth out of the field a little bit easier, I guess. Let's not get too carried away, though, right? It's something, it's nothing to write home about. And I mean, going forward, we're going to have a lot of, um, a lot of bales, I'm sure. I just, I don't know if that's going to be the best solution to move, you know, a couple hundred bales off a field. Uh, what are we going to, like, maybe eight to ten at a time? I, I foresee myself losing my mind a little bit on this, but hey... Whatever, for now, it uh, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, maybe it is. Just stay on there. Just stay stay on. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm actually awfully tempted just to go throw a flat deck on that old, uh, what is it, an old Chev we have there? An old blue Chev that's sitting in there in the farm. I'm tempted to just go throw a flat deck on that and use that to move our bales around, to be perfectly honest. But I don't know if it would be much better than this or not. It's really tough to say. Usually helps that the spike will go into the bale. What's your problem? What is your problem? Why won't you go in there? Get get in there. They make me go right into the trees pretty much. Come on, man. What was that about? Got like an impenetrable grass bale or hay bales right now. Impenetrable hay bales. All right. Just drop. Just drop you right about. Oh, oh easy, easy, easy. There. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go drag this trailer down by the last three. Hey, at least we've got straps on this, right? That That's that's kind of a, a nice thing. We can stack the bales. You know what? Not bad. That'll work fine. All right, let's drop this one on here. I would stack them right now, but you know what? Whatever. We'll just put this down. Uh, come on back a little bit. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's better. That, that's fine. Grab this one. And you know what? I'll just leave the, the last one on the forks if it'll work. If I could stab it. Let's see. Get Get in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. I was, you know what? I was trying to look all cool there, guys, and I ended up looking like a fool. Okay, there we go. Now, now we should work, right? Right? There we go. See? Yeah, yeah. Just like that. And then then we can go hook up and drag these into the field because our cows are, are already hungry. I can hear them mooing away. Open sesame. And you know what? I'm just going to drop the first one right away, and then uh, I'm sure I'll be able to fit the rest of these in here. Oof. Don't, don't mind me just running into things. It's okay. All right, let's spin this thing around and we'll uh, unload this trailer. Yeah, see, no problem at all. This is um, this is going to work out great. So let me finish feeding these guys up, guys. Task one of the day done. All we got left is uh, well, <laughs> all those fields. Yeah, that's a big field we got to work on over there. We'll go, we'll go work on that right away here. Let me finish this off and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, don't push the trailer. Don't break things, Clutch. All right, let's get into the field, get this field work done. I've got the 8310. I've knocked off the uh, the front forks on it. Also knocked off the duels so we've got just some row crops on there now as well just so we um well we get into the fields they're, they're a little bit in so i don't want to wreck wreck our fields you guys know what i mean funny thing is we've got this hardy sprayer 
And um, to be perfectly honest, guys, the sprayer is worth more than the tractor is now. I get it, I got it used. Believe me, I got this thing used, but still, it's it's worth more than this is. It, it, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, I guess. So we're gonna start off on the far, I guess it'd be the eastern side, eastern side of our farm over here. We gotta come all the way back over here anyways. We'll end off on the flax, but I think we'll start off on the, uh, I believe we've got a, a barley field on the far side. We're gonna head over that way. To begin with, get that one sprayed and just kind of slowly work our way over today, guys. We've got lots of spraying to do. It's, it's going to take us a hot minute to get through the spraying. You know, it probably won't be that bad. I mean, we've got a big sprayer here. It should be all right. It's the uh, the old, I always want to call it a 7810. 8310 should be able to handle it. Two-wheel drive should be fine with this. Not too worried about it, but I don't think we're going to get to harvesting today. Obviously, we're a couple months away from harvesting most of these crops. Some of them are coming up pretty quick, though, I think. Um... You know, we are in Canada here, so it does it does need to be harvested earlier than, than most areas. Like, once we get into, come September especially, we need to be ready to harvest everything because you never know when you're going to get snow. It's snowing, right? Where are we, upstate? Just sneak into this one field right here. It's uh, kind of the only entryway is off this guy's driveway. I feel a little bit bad, but I mean, what do you do, really? It's the only way in. All right, let's let's uh, let's get in here. You know what? This doesn't look too bad in here, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, guys, this wheat field, I'm not seeing any weeds on it whatsoever. I think, well, wait a minute. We got we got one. I didn't spray this field, but uh, it's looking pretty darn good. I mean, we've got some weeds around the edges, it looks like, but nothing in the field. All right, move along. We'll leave this one grow. Looks pretty good. Rather than putting down herbicide on something, why not, right? Leave it alone. It should be fine. Expected yield only 64%, though. That, that really hurts. Had a quick look at the barley field. Barley field looks pretty good as well. Our peas and lentils over here, however, are definitely not looking good. So they've got to be sprayed for sure. So starting here and then working all the way down over to the west side and then back north again. That's all going to be sprayed. Might as well get started right here right now. Should be relatively quick through here. These aren't huge fields. Well, let's see if I can lift this up a little bit, though. There we go. Don't want to be dragging it through the crops. But, uh, yeah, should be relatively quick to get through here, and then we'll go down to the far side. But these here are our peas, and then we got lentils, I believe, on the next one. I hope I got those right. Did I get those right? Yeah, yeah, these are the peas. We got lentils next. Um, I, I, I have no idea what kind of yield we're going to get off these crops. Never harvested them before. We're going to find out together soon, but uh, I got to make sure we get this as good as we can. One thing we didn't do, guys, I didn't lime any of this stuff, so we're going to be somewhat limited on what the cr what the yield potential could be. But, I mean, they're all the same. Let's go with that. Like, not, not one... I'm not favoritizing... Favoritizing? Favorite, favoriting any of the crops and making them so they're going to get more. It's, it's Everything's kind of getting the same kind of treatment we possibly can right now. And uh, so it'll be somewhat of a fair test. It's just we won't be able to maximize our yield off any of this stuff, unfortunately. Not yet. Hopefully soon, once we get a little bit more money. But uh, we got to buy some equipment for that first. As far as we're getting any weeds off this uh, this crop, guys, the, it's fairly thick. The actual the foliage from the crop itself is so thick. I'm surprised we're getting anything pop popping through for the uh, the actual weeds right now. And Clutch is having some problems with words apparently today. Peas are done. Moving into our lentil fields. Um, we've got two of them in here. They're both fairly small. In fact, this is overkill if I don't say so myself. But uh, whatever it makes for. Relatively easy work as long as I, I don't hit the fence lines. Get off the fence lines. There we go. See, just over here and then... Oh, wait, wait. You know what? That's not lentils on the far side. That's more peas. Eh, same, same, same. It looks like they look the same to me, I think. I'm not quite sure how to harvest these yet. That's something we're going to have to figure out if we can just regular harvest them with a regular harvester, I assume. Yeah, I hope so. Guys, I, I feel like I should probably spray this, ha this one by hand. I don't think I can even open this thing up. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's go do that. Yeah, this makes more sense to use, I think, doesn't it? Rather than... um. Well, the sprayer, I mean, really, it's not that big of a field. I could just quickly walk through this and, and knock her down, right? Maybe? I mean, I could almost just go like one plant at a time here and just knock all these down. Yeah, that'll be fine. Way better. I, <laughs> um, as long as I can see where I'm going here. Yeah, yeah. I'll just kind of get all these. Just go one plant at a time. Just kind of quickly spray them all and we'll be good. Yeah, this is this is all I need, guys. We don't need no... We don't need no tractor. This is way better. I guess the one thing I didn't think about, though, is what if the weeds haven't fully matured? That's, yeah. I mean, we're not guaranteeing we're hitting them all then, are we? I'm just going for the big ones right now. Yeah, there's nothing quite like taking a job I could have done in one pass. And uh, sitting here for 20 minutes and spraying all these weeds by hand. 
Yeah, uh, whatever, guys. Don't don't ask. Um, we're a sucker for punishment sometimes, aren't we? Anyways, it looks good. Uh, I think I got most most of them. I got a couple down here still to grab, but uh, I think for the most part, I got them all. Look at that, right? It's a good thing we uh, instant gratification of spraying weeds. That's all. Satisfying. It was just super satisfying. What can I say? Anyways, we're gonna go take care of the flax and finish this off. Not not with the hand wand. No, we're we're gonna take the tractor this time. And this is my new walk, by the way. Shoulders even. Just bend those arms, baby. One and two and one and two and come on. All right, that that might have been a bit of a bad idea. Live and learn, guys. Live and learn. This would have been way faster. I could have just used a sprayer. I think it would have fit. It would have been a bit of a fight, but it would have probably still saved us about half an hour. Seriously, that was ridiculous. And there we go, guys. Flax is getting sprayed down as well. This is an interesting field that should flower soon, actually. I think the next uh, next month or so, we should get some nice purple flowers off this, I believe. I'm not quite sure yet. We haven't. We've never planted flax before. We're trying to figure it all out. Which one's going to be the best crop for Edgewater out here in Edgewater, Saskatchewan? What's going to be our best? I mean, we get these lentils, peas. And of course, the flax, which are all these new crops that we've never done before. And we need to figure out which ones are going to be uh, the best crops for for this farm. Not sure yet. Not really sure. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, I'm really hoping it's flax, considering how big this flax field is. Like, is this one going to be the best one for us? I really hope it is. I think we're on our last little bit of this field, and um, that's going to call it a day. I think we just have, you can see, like, right ahead of us, there's one little pass we missed here. You need to get a GPS on one of these tractors. Maybe we should just upgrade tractors at some point as well. Let's just uh, get through this. And uh, I think there's some some cattle work I need to still do, guys. But looks pretty good. I'm happy. All our field work. All our field work's done. Perfect. Yeah, guys, everything's uh, hunky-dory. Is that even a thing anymore? Can you say that? Everything's looking pretty good right now. I'm, I'm pretty happy. We've got our sprayers back out front. Just need to uh, take care of some of our cattle stuff now. Kind of clean this all up a little bit. Get some of the straw in there that we've been harvesting. Can I get both of these in one, one shot? Is that a thing? I get like this in and then lift up. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Yeah, I, I've made this. There's been some mistakes, guys. Just a couple mis mis mistakes have been made. Huh. They're awfully heavy bales. <laughs> huh. Um, yeah, don't do what I just did. Ooh, I actually uh, managed to just kind of tip it in there. Come on, come on up. See if I can get you knocked right inside there. Come on, get in there. Perfect, right into the... Oh, that, that couldn't have worked out much better, guys. Anyways, things are good. We're just going to get these cattle up and running. And uh, I think we should be good to go now. Cattle are going to be happy. They're going to be getting straw. They got a little bit of food. Not a lot of food, but they got some food at least. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy. Things are good, guys. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new around the channel. And of course, members and new subscribers. Cheers to you guys. Thank you so much for joining us here. What are you guys doing with the... What do you guys do? Come on. What What do you... Come on. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks again. Uh, if you guys missed the last or the first episode or last episode of Edgewater, make sure you click on the card where we, uh, we had our first chance to swath some canola. Very cool. Check it out. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.